cones. Now, if you have a flame in a chem lab that's not burning very properly, in other words, it's flickering and it's yellow, that means it's not getting enough air. Um, I'm not going to put my hand on here because it gets too hot, but when I had gas in here and I could use the burner, I could close out the air to the flame and it would just dance all over the place and it would be real yellow. That's a weak carbonizing flame. It's not very hot. You can't see the temperature, I just know it's not hot. So, um, let me turn this back on again. Now, let me heat the nickel up. Can everyone see the nickel down here? Yeah. Everyone see yeah. the nickel? Okay, tell me when you think it's reached the temperature. Wait, does it change the color? Yeah. yeah it the, the see how it, oh, and it dropped away. Now, as soon as it cools down, it'll go right back up. I smell burning nickel. Oh, oh, there it goes. And as soon as it cools down again, it will stick right to it. Now, suppose I heat the nickel up so it's red hot. Does that cool down real fast? So I'll make a red hot nickel. It's on a It's on a red. By the way, guys, this is a Canadian nickel. This is not a United States nickel. A Canadian nickel is made out of nickel. So there's a red hot nickel. How do you feel different? Now, I cannot melt it because the flame is not hot enough. How does your hand feel? Now, if I take this away and try to stick it to the magnet, it wants to have nothing to do with it at all. But if I cool it down, it's right back. Let's put it. So in other words, it can now be put into what? The D word. Okay, domain, organized domain. And when you heat it up, so it gets red hot. And my paper clip broke. So I'll get myself a new paper clip. Got my crucible tongs. Andre, that was good. Now I have a cold nickel. You think I would be doing this? Someone asked me, why don't you put it on your hands when it's red hot? Well, guys, that's kind of like, why? That's like sticking a fork in the toaster. And unfortunately, that's what they used to do to animals. To brand them. To brand them. Don't they just do that? still do it to cows? Yeah, well, they mostly did it to livestock like cows and, and steers and whatever. But other animals can be branded. And essentially what they did was they had a hunk of iron that was in a shape of a letter or whatever it was, they put it in a campfire, they pulled it out when it was red hot, and they just put it right up against the cow, and they essentially scarred the cow by a burn. And that's all it would be. Why do they do that? To mark them? To mark the animal. So you have to understand, back in the day, um, you might let your animals out on free ranges, like just let them go out in the middle of nowhere, and they would be a free range out there. And when you, it was time for you to, you know, gather up all your animals, they wanted to make sure whose is this? Is this is this the Jake Pinder farm? The JP farm? Okay, is that your your brand? Whatever that was. Okay, so that's what they would do. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, best friend, that's my best friend, that's my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do this here. Gio, 